Amen. 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 I'm Amen. sharing this morning on a message I have entitled uh, mm. Joseph's Model of Saving. Can you hear me clearly? I know we had a little bit of trouble when we started. Am I clear? Yes, you are clear. Okay. So I'll be sharing this morning on um, a message I have entitled Joseph's Model of Saving. Let's open mm. our Bibles to the book of Genesis chapter 41. I hope you brought your Bibles. Doesn't matter whether it's a hard copy or it's an electronic Bible. We just need to have our Bibles with us. So before we read today's message, I'd just like to give a background from Genesis chapter 39 and um, Genesis chapter 40. I know we are all familiar with uh, this story of Joseph, but I'm just going to go back and uh, give a brief background. It's always important that, you know, as we are sharing, we all on the same page. So this is what I'm going to do. If you remember mm -hmm. Joseph, um, he was Jacob's son, right? Jacob had many sons and Joseph was one of them. And Joseph was sold by his brothers into slavery. Mm -hmm. He was sold uh, to these guys that were passing by on their way to Egypt. So Joseph ended up at Potiphar's house. We are told that while he was in this place, this is at Potiphar's house, the Lord was with him, right? Mm -hmm. The Lord was with Joseph. And, mm -hmm. you know, um, he blessed him. Everything that Joseph did was successful. Mm -hmm. he, blessed the, he blessed the work of his hands mm -hmm. for himself. And right there, you know, Potiphar was blessed just because Joseph was with the Lord. It was mm -hmm. the blessings of the Lord that also made uh, Potiphar to prosper, right? So the mm -hmm. Lord gave him success. And, you know, Joseph found favor in Potiphar's eyes. Mm -hmm. Potiphar ended up promoting him to this position of being in charge of all the servants in his house. Everyone was reporting to him. He did everything for Potiphar and Potiphar stayed away so that uh, Joseph could do everything in the house. Unfortunately, things didn't go so well, as you know, with mm -hmm. Potiphar's wife. Joseph ended up in prison. So sometimes we can get into prison. We can get, you know, into trouble, even for doing the right things. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. Joseph was sent to prison. So it is written that the Lord was with Joseph in prison as well. So remember, when Joseph was young, he was sold. It wasn't, it wasn't because he wasn't with the Lord. The mm -hmm. Lord was with him through and through. The Lord has a plan for each one of us. Certain mm -hmm. situations that we go through, it is not because the Lord is not with us. The Lord is mm -hmm. with us. But in order for us to get to our destination, we will mm -hmm. go through certain kinds of troubles. We will experience different kinds of things, situations mm -hmm. in our life, so that we will arrive at our destination. Mm -hmm. This is what we see, Joseph, here. This is not the focus of the teaching, but I'm just uh, passing us through, taking us through what was mm -hmm. happening to Joseph before we get to our actual topic. So the Lord is not only with us through the good times. He is also with us in the bad times. Mm -hmm. So some people only choose to see him when things are going well in their lives. So when they get a promotion or their child is doing well, their marriage is going well, you know, mm -hmm. they have enough money, they have enough food, and then they give thanks mm -hmm. to the Lord. Then they worship the Lord. But then he is always with us even when we don't sense him in the bad times. So I want mm -hmm. to encourage you today, if you're going through a dark season, know that the Lord is right there with you. Amen. 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 So prison is not a good place for anybody. We all know that. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to go to prison. There's nothing good mm -hmm. in there. But mm -hmm. the Lord was with Joseph, even though mm -hmm. he was in prison. He granted him mm -hmm. kindness, right? Mm -hmm. And he, he, he had favor in the eyes of the prison warden. That is what we are told. So because mm -hmm. Joseph was always with the Lord. It means mm. Joseph had a relationship with the Lord. It means that Joseph fellowship with the Lord. So the mm. Lord made him, you know, uh, gave him his kindness and favor all the time, mm. wherever he went. So the mm. prison warden, because he had favor with Joseph, he, he made him in charge of all prisoners. Can you imagine? Mm. Mm. So he just goes in there. There are people who've been there for a long time, but it didn't matter because of the Lord's favor. The prison warden made him in charge. So it doesn't matter where you are. I don't even want to divert, you know. I'm having all sorts of sermons over this as I go. <laughs> but then <laughs> it was during this time when he was in prison that he met the king's cupbearer and the baker, right? Mm -hmm. That if you read on chapter 40, mm -hmm. the, the cupbearer and um, uh, who's this? Um, the baker. They had offended the king, Pharaoh. They had offended Pharaoh. And yeah. so he sent them to jail. They went to mm. prison. Mm. And this is where Joseph met them. So the mm. cupbearer 
and the the baker both had dreams each one of them had a dream and they were troubled they were talking about the dreams mm -hmm. and joseph heard about these dreams so joseph came to them and he interpreted the dreams so what joseph said or what he interpreted came mm -hmm. to pass he said in the in the in three days time this is what mm -hmm. is going to happen you the mm -hmm. cup bearer this is what is going to happen and you the baker this is what is going to happen and that came to pass so mm -hmm. they've had told the cup bearer listen you are going to be restored. So what you need to do when you go there, please don't forget me. Remember me, you know, speak about me when you are there. But alas, it didn't happen the way Joseph had expected. They forgot, you know, I think it was in the process of, you know, the excitement, family and friends are crowding all over him. Can you even remember that somebody in prison sent you to do something for him? And that life was just about him. So Joseph must have been sad, I figure. We mm -hmm. always get disappointed when we're expecting somebody to remember us. Imagine if we've been standing uh, with a friend and that friend all of a sudden gets a job. They are driving mm -hmm. and then they decide to drop you and find new friends from the office. And then you say, mm -hmm. oh, but I was praying with Francine. Now that mm -hmm. she's making it, that we would get disappointed, right? So I'm sure because Joseph was human, he got disappointed. When things mm -hmm. don't go our way, we must remember that there's always a reason. Mm -hmm. From this. There's always a reason, you know, I just feel like preaching all the messages through these chapters uh, because there is so much that we can learn. <laughs> let's move on, let's move on. So, so we now know why Joseph was in prison, right? Mm -hmm. It was from Potiphar's house. We know what happened at Potiphar's house. So he was thrown into prison. We understand now that he's in prison, but we have also learned that Joseph has the gift of interpretation, the interpretation of dreams. Joseph has that. And the first time we remember when he was 17 years old, he had these dreams. He didn't have that gift, if you recall. So that is why if he had the gift, he wouldn't have told them. He would have interpreted and he would have felt, let me protect what the Lord has said. But he didn't know. That's why he was telling the gift. But mm -hmm. now in prison, we see that this gift has come. Amen. Amen. So now let's go to Genesis chapter 41, which is our focus for today. I was just giving a background for understanding. Come with me to Genesis chapter 41. This is two years later, after the mm. cup bearer has been restored. Mm. So then Pharaoh had two interesting dreams, which no one could interpret mm. in the land. So mm. do you ever experience those kind of dreams? I was thinking to myself, Pharaoh had this dream. And he got up and then he went to sleep mm. again. And then he had another dream. Do you get mm. some of those dreams which are like part one? And mm. then when you sleep, it's like part two. They continue. Mm. <laughs> no matter how many times you wake up, the dream yeah. keeps going mm. on where you mm. ended. If you were being yeah. chased, as soon as you sleep, that person was chasing you. <laughs> Who still come and chase you? I don't know if you've had some of those <laughs> dreams, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So dreams have a lot of meaning and we need to pay attention. So Pharaoh had two dreams in one night, which really bothered him. And we see that he sent for magicians, you know, all the magicians. He sent for all the wise men, all the sango mazutunganga tons. He mm -hmm. sent them to come and interpret the dream. But these guys were not able to interpret the dream, right? Mm -hmm. You know, with certain things, with God, God, uh, God's thing, there's a, there's, a, there's a line where it's enough, mm -hmm. only only people that are in tune with him are going to know what is happening. So mm -hmm. you will have counterfeit all the time, but there mm -hmm. is a line where God draws and the others won't just know. It's yeah. because they are tapping into their own issues and they, they yeah. want to use those things for their own good. So at mm -hmm. this particular time, these magicians were called because they were also interpreters. They also used to interpret. Mm -hmm. But at this mm -hmm. particular point in time, and mm -hmm. for a reason, they could not interpret. And mm -hmm. so... The cup bearer remembered Joseph. You know how they were looking mm. at all this. Yeah, I woke mm. Actually, <laughs> the, when I was in jail, there was this guy called um, Joseph. I mm. had a dream and he explained everything else, you know. Yeah. I'm, I've been restored. It came to pass. But that other guy, he was killed. And mm. everything that Joseph said, you mm -hmm. know came to pass and he yeah. remembered so you see god has his own way of doing things and yeah. in his own time this yeah. is what we need to understand it is not mm -hmm. a coincidence that this cup bearer mm -hmm. remember joseph only now mm -hmm. this is how god planned it mm -hmm. god knew mm -hmm. you know god mm -hmm. is all powerful he can do mm -hmm. anything he could have mm -hmm. done it in another way mm -hmm. but he chose mm -hmm. it at a time such mm -hmm. as this so if the cup bearer had brought up joseph's name as soon as he came out of prison 
Joseph was going to be irrelevant. The king had yeah. no dream. The king had no dreams to, to be in yeah. interpreted. So it was mm. just going to, but why are you are talking about Joseph? After all, is it not that is it is it not that guy who had a problem with Potiphar's wife? Why should we bring him out? Even the wrong things that were accused of him, oh, yes. you know, could yeah. have been brought up. It wasn't the right mm -hmm. time for him to yeah. step out. Mm -hmm. That is what we know. So yeah. the cup bearer, the cup bearer said, Today I'm reminded mm -hmm. of my shortcomings. And mm -hmm. as I was preparing, I was thinking, he was reminded. Who reminded mm -hmm. him? It could only mm -hmm. have been God. It was the yeah, same time. So mm -hmm. we shouldn't push things when they are not working out for us. Mm -hmm. This guy. He probably mm -hmm. didn't remember when he came out because that's mm -hmm. how God wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. And at this particular time, he said, no, there's a guy in jail mm -hmm. who did all this, 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 this. Mm -hmm. So the king mm -hmm. sent for Joseph. Okay. Bring mm -hmm. Joseph here. I want him to come and interpret the dream. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's read now from uh, Genesis chapter 41. Let's read from verse 15. I'm using NIV. Mm -hmm. Pharaoh said to Joseph, this is when Joseph was brought out now to interpret. Mm -hmm. Pharaoh said to Joseph, I had a dream and no one can interpret it. But mm -hmm. I have heard it said of you that when you hear a dream, you can interpret it. I cannot do it, Joseph replied to Pharaoh, but God will give Pharaoh the answer he desires. Even Joseph acknowledged that, look, it is not my own doing. Mm -hmm. It is God who's going to give me interpretation. So then Pharaoh said to Joseph, in my dream, I was standing on the bank of the Nile. When mm -hmm. out of the river, there came up seven cows, fat and sleek, and they grazed among the reeds. After them, seven other cows came up, scrawny and very ugly and lean. I had never seen such ugly cows in all the land of Egypt. I'm sure you know you've seen when you are driving, so you know, around the villages where you've seen those thin cows, you can even count the ribs. Without even getting close, you can just count, you just know the rib is here. So these are the kind of cows that were there. But even after they ate them, they ate the fat cows, right? No one could mm. tell that they had done so. They mm. looked just as ugly as before. Then mm. I woke up. It was such a terrifying dream. Imagine mm. they're eating. Nothing is even changing. They're just this ugly. So mm. he says, in my dream, I saw seven heads of grain, full and good, growing on a single stalk. After them, seven other heads sprouted, withered mm. and thin, scorched by the east wind. The thin heads of grain swallowed up the seven, the seven good heads. I told this to the magicians, but none of them could explain it to me. So even the magicians had no mm. clue. They were just thinking, yeah, mm. what could this cow symbolize? Mm. You know? mm. Then Joseph said to Pharaoh, the dreams of Pharaoh are one and the same. Look, Joseph didn't mm. even go back and say, um, let me go and inquire of the Lord. Mm. It's because it was time, right? Yeah. Yeah. We see Daniel being called upon but he's asked mm. he asked the king please can i give me time let me go and yeah. pray let me go and seek the face of the lord mm. so there are times when you can just interpret dreams real time mm. or mm. you have to wait on the lord to give you that interpretation but in this case it was mm. joseph's time the dream was going to be interpreted mm. already he knew he says to mm. the king the dreams mm. of pharaoh are one and the same god has revealed mm. to pharaoh what he is about to do he was ready mm. the lord had prepared his heart he had already mm. given him the words to speak mm. so the mm. seven good cows are seven years and the seven good heads of seven years it is one and the same dream the seven lean ugly cows that came up afterward are seven years and so are the seven worthless heads of grain scorched by the east wind. They are seven years of famine. It, just, it is just as I said to Pharaoh, God has shown Pharaoh what he is about to do. Seven mm. years of great abundance are coming throughout the land of Egypt, but seven mm. years of famine will follow them. Then all the abundance in Egypt will be forgotten and the famine will ravage the land. The abundance in the land will not be remembered because the, fam the famine that follows it will be so severe. You know mm. how it is when you've, mm. you've lived so well, it's not easy mm. to remember the good time when mm. you're really hating, right? So even mm. the abundance will be forgotten. So the mm. reason the dream was given to Pharaoh in two forms is that the matter has been firmly decided by God mm. and mm. God will do it soon. So like mm. I was saying, we do get those dreams that recur. We do get those mm. dreams that are part one, part two, part three. Mm. Pay attention because if a dream is continuing, if you mm -hmm. see a dream mm -hmm. often, there is something mm -hmm. that God is saying to you. Yeah, this is yeah. what we are learning. So mm -hmm. if you read on, you will learn that Pharaoh puts Joseph in charge mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. whole land of Egypt, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So don't, don't 
Um, don't despise where you are today. This mm. is what I was reading. Don't despise mm. where you are today. It's part of your training. He was he was thrown into into that ditch. He was sown. You see, he was sold. That is part of training. Okay. Mm -hmm. He was his character was being built. Mm -hmm. He then he went into mm -hmm. Potiphar's house. He was working there. Mm -hmm. He went into prison. All that was part of training, right? So Joseph started by being in charge of Potiphar's house. He was excellent in his ways, but even though he did all the good things, he was still thrown into prison. But he was also in charge of the prison, like I said. So it all became part of training. Now see how God exalted him. Can you imagine if he had to defend himself? No, you see this and that and that. He didn't even appeal. We are not told that he appealed. But he just went there. He knew he didn't do those things, but he just went there and he served. He didn't deserve to be sold, but he was sold anyway. Right. So then God has exalted him right here. So the dream interpretation came with direction. This is what I have noted, right? This dream that um, Joseph interpreted for Pharaoh came with direction and it also <coughs> came with interpretation. Mm. Uh, okay. it, sorry, it came with instruction. It came mm. with direction. It also came with uh, instruction. Right. So if you have been following <coughs> the teachings in the last weeks, I have been mentioning following the instruction from the Lord, following mm -hmm. the direction from the Lord. Mm -hmm. So let us pay attention because I strongly feel there's something that God is saying in this season. Yes, you may be going through a situation, but if you if you go and seek his face, he's going to give you instruction. He's going to give mm -hmm. you direction. So this mm -hmm. is what we see here. Mm -hmm. So this was the direction given to Pharaoh. Remember, the mm -hmm. dream was interpreted, right? This is where mm -hmm. you must also be careful when it comes to, to false prophets. False prophets, you know, when they give interpretation of dreams or when they need to, when they see into your life, so they say, there's even no direction whatsoever. Mm -hmm. They will just tell you, your mother did this to you, your grandmother mm -hmm. did this to you, or your boss is doing this. Mm -hmm. But what is the direction in all this? Mm -hmm. They can't, they give you holy water. It mm -hmm. doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. There must be clear direction. There must be clear Amen. instruction if something is from God, God is not a God of confusion. He will Amen. speak to us and he will give us direction. So mm -hmm. we just don't stand there and we don't know mm -hmm. what to do. He needs mm -hmm. to direct us. So this was the direction given to Pharaoh. So uh, Joseph mm -hmm. told him, this is what it means for this seven, seven years of abundance and seven years of famine. So Joseph mm -hmm. didn't stop there and said, this is what will happen. And he went back. No, he went ahead. Let's read verse 33. Mm -hmm. And now let Pharaoh look for a discerning and wise man and put him in charge of the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Let Pharaoh appoint commissioners over the land to take a fifth of the harvest of Egypt during the seven years of abundance. They should collect all the food of these good years that are coming and store up the grain under the authority of Pharaoh to be kept in the cities for food. This food should be held in reserve for the country to be used during the seven years of famine that will come upon Egypt so that the country may not be ruined by the famine. Let's skip to verse 39. So we see the, the, the instruction being given here. Mm. This direction, mm. you are going to experience mm. this, but when you are living in this time of plenty, Pharaoh, this is what you must do. Mm. Let us prepare it in this way. And then Pharaoh said to Joseph, verse 39, since God has made all this known to you, remember Joseph is telling him, Pharaoh, this is what you do. And Pharaoh says, mm -mm, mm -hmm. sana, you know, I won't manage this. This mm -hmm. issue is too big. You are mm -hmm. the one who is communing with the Lord. Please, mm -hmm. since God mm -hmm. has made all this known to you, there is no mm -hmm. one so discerning and wise as you. You shall mm -hmm. be in charge of my palace and all my people are to submit to your orders. Only with respect to the throne will I be greater than you. Now, there was mm. a time I remember somebody came to me and people who like giving a word. They don't know who you are. They don't know whether you're a praying person or not. They can't even discern, okay? Mm. So if they're discerning, they would actually know. But then this person comes to me and tells me something about my children. Oh, your children, this and this and this and that. And it was, uh, at the end of it, it was bad. So I said, oh, since you've given me a word, now you pray for my children because it's bad. He said, no, you must go and pray. I said, no, I'm not going to pray. You are the one who brought the message to me. How can you now tell me to, to take authority over you? Who has been given that way? Now you pray. So mm -hmm. he kept quiet. I said, next time when you are given an instruction, if it's really coming from God, you should also mm -hmm. have direction because now as a mother, you should direct me. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I'm not taking your word. Mm -hmm. I cancel mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So 
That is how we need to respond to some mm. of these things. Things that just come to you with no direction. Mm. Just forget about them. That's not mm. how the Lord, you know, uh, speaks to us. He's not going to come mm. and confuse us. No, Amen. he will give us mm. a word and he will tell us what we need to mm. do next. Mm. So mm. remember, the Lord was with Joseph throughout. Therefore, mm. he was operating under the wisdom of God. Mm. When Joseph mm. came out to meet up with King Pharaoh, he was full of God's wisdom. He had yeah. been fellowshipping with the Lord, you know. Mm. So the mm. Lord had given me, he given him instruction, the instruction mm. that he gave to the king now king pharaoh this is what you're going to do a b c and now king pharaoh throws it back at him and says you mm. do it you, you are the only person who's going to be wise mm. to execute what you have mm. just said because you know amen mm. yeah. so it is written that joseph traveled throughout egypt mm. Mm. during the seven days of abundance the land mm. produced mm. so much it yeah. was so fruitful that is what we are told fruits mm. I'm sure it wasn't just about crops. I'm sure mm. it was also about animals. They had to be in abundance. That's why mm. you know, game meat. That's mm -hmm. why they had to learn to, to preserve all those things. Mm -hmm. And Joseph collected all the food according to the strategy that God had given him. That strategy, Joseph didn't just come up with him because by the time he mm -hmm. went to meet with the king, he didn't even know what the king had dreamt about. Mm -hmm. That strategy came straight from the heart of God. This okay. is how ABC is going to be done. Mm -hmm. And Joseph showed it as it had been given to him. Yes. So he was made in charge of the whole land of Egypt. And now yes. he needed to follow the instruction. That is why we are saying when we come to God, let's hear him right. Let's get the mm. instruction. We mustn't look and think, oh, this is too big. Where do I start? Mm. And then we stop. Mm. Where do I start? We start, you know, asking other people and then they show us mm. shortcuts. We are going mm -hmm. to abort what God is doing in our lives. Mm -hmm. So then Joseph collected all the food and stored it up in the cities. Mm -hmm. That is what mm -hmm. we are told. Mm -hmm. So when you have plenty, what is your reaction? As I was preparing, mm -hmm. okay, in mm -hmm. the time of plenty, how do mm -hmm. we behave? So most mm -hmm. people don't think of investment, right? When mm -hmm. they are financially blessed, people yeah. are not thinking of those things. It's a holiday after holiday. Mm -hmm. You know, people even stop cooking. It's mm -hmm. take away after take away. They throw mm -hmm. around money. They even be, they do all sorts of things with it, mm -hmm. right? But what is mm -hmm. our response? What is our reaction when we have these things? They, you know, it's okay to mm -hmm. enjoy the fruit of your labor. Don't get mm -hmm. me wrong. Mm -hmm. It's okay to pamper yourself, to treat yourself. You are mm -hmm. great anyway. Mm -hmm. But there has to be a time where mm -hmm. you come to your senses and begin to save. Amen. Yeah. Mm. Be wise enough to put something aside. In Egypt's case, they had to put aside a fifth. That is what we are told, mm. right? Mm. We just read that they were supposed to put aside a fifth of the harvest. Me being a financial person, I was thinking in numerical terms, what does it mean? What is a fifth of the harvest? It means you have, if you have 1,000, for instance, if mm. you, you are earning 1,000 runs, it means put aside 5% of that 1,000. Mm. That is 5% of 1,000. That 5% of 1,000 is actually 50 rands. 50 rands is nothing to ask for, mm -hmm. for us to put aside, right? So we are, mm -hmm. we are being taught about savings today. <laughs> I was laughing that how the Holy Spirit puts a word in mm -hmm. your spirit. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking we're going to be talking about other things. Then I end up with numbers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I end up with talking about savings today. This is what we are being taught. 5% of mm -hmm. everything that you earn. So Amen. savings didn't start when they, they opened Standard Bank or, yeah. or Zanaco, you know, it didn't start when they opened mm -hmm. FNB. No, it has always mm -hmm. been there. This is what we are told. That's why, you know, when I was preparing, I was being reminded, I said, aha, that is why Joshua in the book of Joshua was told, if you want to be successful, yeah. you know, do not let this book of the Lord mm -hmm. depart from you. Meditate mm -hmm. on it day and yeah. it means everything mm -hmm. that you will need to succeed is in the book, including mm -hmm. savings. Just 5%, mm -hmm. including mm -hmm. saving, right? So mm -hmm. <laughs> adults may have already mm -hmm. messed up. Maybe you and I have mm -hmm. already messed up now, and we haven't been putting that 5% aside. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we can teach our children to save. Mm -hmm. We can teach mm -hmm. them that just get the 5% and put it aside, right? 5% mm -hmm. of a salary is not much, seriously. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we can all use uh, Joseph's model of saving. I'm calling it Joseph's model of saving. Mm -hmm. This is something that was taught a long time ago. Now, mm -hmm. you know, the banks are forcing us. No, you need to save. There's a, there's a, there's, every time you open an account, they, mm -hmm. there's a, a pocket for saving. Mm -hmm. They are encouraging us. But you mm -hmm. and I, children of God, should have known this a long time ago, mm -hmm. that we need to set, you know, money aside. Mm -hmm. Right. So his model mm -hmm. is only 5%. It could be daily. We don't know if you are selling something daily. 
you, mm -hmm. you, or you are being paid, wherever you are being paid hourly or daily, it could mm -hmm. be weekly, it could be monthly or whatever way you decide. If we talk mm -hmm. about it being yearly, it's, it's usually a problem to save yearly, right? Mm -hmm. Monthly makes more sense because we are more disciplined. So put mm -hmm. aside, let us learn to put aside uh, five percent that is what i am learning from mm -hmm. here so somebody mm -hmm. will say yo how did you come up with five percent it simply says that a fifth of a harvest this is mm -hmm. the wisdom we're talking about that comes from mm -hmm. god as we sit at his feet he opens mm -hmm. up our our minds mm -hmm. and we learn i was also thinking uh -huh. that remember those those when we were growing up some of us had relatives who were so rich 10 cars that uncle of yours who had 10 cars mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> today that uncle doesn't even own a bike Mm. He's even asking for transport money from you. Mm. What happened mm. to the riches? Mm. This is what I'm talking about. It's mm. lack of wisdom and yeah. discipline. That's all. Mm. We may want to sugarcoat things, but let us say it as it is. It is a mm. lack of wisdom and mm. discipline. So one mm. may want to argue with me and say, no, Francine, I don't drink. I don't take alcohol. I'm using my money in the best way I can. So it's not enough. I have to go and borrow some money. I have to do ABC and all that. It's all about discipline. It's not mm. about expensive things. The mm. issue for you then is that you have settled you know, for wrong things. That yeah. is the issue. That is why you don't have the 5% mm -hmm. to take away. So if mm -hmm. your salary only allows you to buy a house which only has one bedroom, stick to mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Don't go and buy one which has five bedrooms. That was story. Mm -hmm. And in an estate, all oh, those are mm -hmm. expensive costs. So if your salary, you know, mm -hmm. wants you to work within 5,000, stick to mm -hmm. the 5,000. Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. be embarrassed. Do mm -hmm. just what you need to do. What about cars? Mm -hmm. If your salary only allows you to buy a small mm -hmm. car, car mm -hmm. fiat, 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 you know, mm -hmm. a small fiat, stick to that. Mm -hmm. Don't go and buy yourself a hammer. Don't go and buy yourself you know, a big car, which you can't even afford to mm -hmm. pay back. You have mm -hmm. to borrow from Francine to pay mm -hmm. for the installment. Mm -hmm. it already, mm -hmm. you won't have anything mm -hmm. because that car has taken mm -hmm. everything away from you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the point I'm making this morning is that, you know, we need to have a 5% yeah. from our harvest to save. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And it's also not about money, right? Mm -hmm. It can be about food. I remember when yeah. we were growing up, my mother, you know, taught us this wisdom of preserving. Mm -hmm. We still have it today. My children know about it. My, you know, my household knows about it. I'm passing it on to them. You can preserve, you know, when we're growing up, most of us, we were taught that, but are we doing that? Where mm -hmm. you could have, we had some gardens, you know. So after the harvest, you, you get tired of eating everything else. But she would mm -hmm. insist that you pick that and you preserve it in a certain way. You dry it and just keep it. We didn't need yeah. to eat it then. Yeah. We didn't even need it. That's what I can say. But she insisted that we store it. That was wisdom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in case of a rainy day, there's always mm -hmm. food in the house. That mm -hmm. is another way. So mm -hmm. even for us today, some mm -hmm. of us have gardens. The leaves are just falling down, mm -hmm. you know. And you are just happy. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. You know, what I'm saying is that you are just happy to tell people that, you know, I have so many vegetables, I have so much fruit. The mangoes are just falling on the ground. Do something. Mm -hmm. That is a year of plenty. That is the season of plenty. That's what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. If things mm -hmm. are beginning to fall off, if your fridge is mm -hmm. too heavy with things, it means some of those things need to be preserved. Otherwise, they'll go mm -hmm. bad. And when mm -hmm. they go bad, it means we have wasted amen yeah amen there's always a time also when food in the supermarkets is relatively cheap the mm. prices just go down you yeah. know for instance i'll take an example of um a vegetable market you go to maravasta you go to soweto you go to mm. all those places there are times when a box of tomato is so expensive but there's a time of plenty where you can buy what you were buying for 50 rands is now going at 15 rands mm. so why can't you buy so much and preserve and then when mm. it's a season when there isn't much of that commodity you're just going to pick from your fridge and you're so happy you're not going mm. to be complaining this is what yeah. i always say i always mm. tell this loren when we are chatting mm. you know sometimes people mm. complain even to people who have you yeah. sit and you're complaining mm. the whole day you know nowadays the life is so <laughs> tough nowadays no one can afford tomatoes but your friend mm. preserved hello where have mm. you been mm. your friend has been wise and they're looking at yeah. you like hey eh, but you know, out of out, mm -hmm. because they are wise, they're not going to tell you where have you been. These things yeah, were 12 yeah. runs at some point. Yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. Mangoes, mm -hmm. it can be anything. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. can get to preserve them. You can freeze mm -hmm. them to be used mm -hmm. at a later stage. And yeah, this yeah. is exactly what Joseph did. Mm -hmm. The people say, Neyo, 
It's, mm. There's nothing different. It's exactly yeah. what he did. The wisdom of God. Amen. 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 So Joseph stored enough for everyone. And mm. they had enough to sell to people coming from mm. neighboring towns. That's what the Bible says. Let's just yeah. read it here. You know, mm. they, they, Joseph, uh, I'm going to read it. But Joseph made sure there was enough mm. for the whole land where they were. Mm. And then afterwards, they even mm. had some to sell. Now, mm. Jesus, um, mm. we see Jesus here teaching his disciples not to waste. Let's talk mm. a little bit about wastage. When we are living mm. in plenty, mm. we have this tendency, children throwing things all over the place, mm. right? Mm. When you finish eating, everything just goes straight in the bin. Mm. But we can, we, can, we can cook less. We can do mm. all these things in a different way. Yeah. Let us teach the right way, but also let us live mm. the right way. Now, Jesus was teaching his disciples. Remember when he had mm. uh, the miracle for 5,000 people. Let's mm. read that. It's in John chapter mm. 6. Yeah. John chapter 6, verse 12. Mm. That was after they had fed the people, mm. 5,000 people. When they had all had mm. enough to eat, mm. he said to his disciples, mm. gather the pieces that are left over. Nothing, let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled 12 baskets with the pieces of the five barn loaves left over by those who had eaten. So this was a moment of plenty. Mm -hmm. This is what we say. You know, they had too much. They were just kicking over the food, you know, walking over everything. There was too much. But Jesus says, do not waste. Let nothing be wasted. Let us learn from that. When the Lord has provided, don't waste. Because mm. there will come a time when, you know, famine will kick in at some point. Mm. You even remember mm. those things you were throwing around, mm. right? Let's mm. take care of every little thing. So Jesus mm. would have just left the pieces. They would have just eaten and dismissed the people. After all, he's the one who was the miracle maker. Mm. He was going to say, the miracle is in my hand. I have the power. Don't worry, if you if you get up, let's just leave those <laughs> things. When they're mm. hungry again, we're just going to perform another miracle. I've got them. Mm. But no, he was careful. Mm. The Lord has provided. Let us take care of what yeah. we need to do. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So now, in conclusion, the year is coming to an end. Mm. This is what I can say to us. The year is coming mm. to an end. Where are you with saving? Mm. It's not just with finances. It is with everything in every area. Where mm. are we with this? Have you had more than enough? Yeah. If you've had more than enough, you know, even if it's not finances, even if it's just food, mm. you know, mm. begin to store up something if you haven't done anything. Begin mm -hmm. to store up, store up whatever is within, you know, mm -hmm. your vicinity. Don't mm -hmm. wait for tomorrow to begin to save. You start today. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm being reminded this morning. For those who haven't had much in this year, just get ready because it is not all the, your season is not going to stay the same. Maybe you are in mm -hmm. the farming, but then yeah. prepare for a harvest. Mm -hmm. When a harvest mm -hmm. comes, when a harvest knocks on your door, mm -hmm. are you ready to handle that? You see, so we are mm. given all the guidelines, create a budget. Maybe you've mm. been financially stressed, but you're mm. looking forward to a better 2022. You've got a better plan. Create yeah. a budget, plan how you're going to use the finances so you can have that 5%. Mm. Let's work around the 5%. If mm -hmm. we can do 10, 20%, that's even mm. better. But here, minimum is 5%. Mm. Amen. 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 How best mm. can you preserve food so you don't go around begging in future? Mm. Hello, mm. Hey, asking for vegetables door to door. Mm. Vegetables, mm. I was doing. <laughs> you can ask for veg vegetables, we can just grow them mm. in mm. the kitchen. Mm. You mm. see, so those are some of the things. Let us learn to preserve these things for the future. Mm. Amen. Amen. So, Pharaoh's dream was very clear it was mm. going to be seven days of abundance, seven years mm. of abundance, and seven mm. years of famine they prepared amen. well in advance amen. Amen. amen we don't have to wait to have the same dream as pharaoh had even if we had that dream amen. who's going to be there to interpret that dream for us <laughs> so we don't have to wait for the dream to come we can just learn from pharaoh amen. we can learn yeah. from the instruction that joseph gave to the people amen. of amen. egypt in the abundance let's not waste let's begin to store up amen, amen. you don't know this famine amen. was for for, for the land of Egypt when Pharaoh mm. was king. You are in your own household. You are your yeah. own person there. We yeah. don't know how long your famine will last. We don't know how yeah. long your abundance will last. For them, yeah. it was seven years. For some people, it's six months. So mm. before you know it, 
you will mm. have nothing left with you. Mm. When you're living mm. in abundance, don't tell yourself for one year, first in Jai Veko, Jai Veko, first let mm. me dance around and play a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All the places. By the time you come back to your senses, then it will be famine. What do you do? So mm. the minute you are blessed, you should always have a plan. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Feeling mm. sorry for yourself is what causes us, you know, to get mm. into trouble. Amen. Amen. Let's store up. So you can even make money during such times. This is what I have learned. Mm -hmm. We can make money during such time. It is written in Genesis 41. Let's read verse 56. Mm -hmm. When the famine had spread over the whole country, Joseph mm -hmm. opened all the storehouses and sold. He didn't give for free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had a plan, the strategy mm -hmm. that came from God. Mm -hmm. They stored up mm -hmm. everything. And when there was famine, they opened up the storehouses and sold mm -hmm. to the Egyptians for the famine was severe throughout Egypt. Mm -hmm. And the best part is, and all the world came to Egypt to buy grain from mm -hmm. Bonse. Mm -hmm. Everyone mm -hmm. came to Joseph. Then people mm -hmm. will be saying, what did they do for them to have that kind yeah. of wealth? It's because people haven't been listening. They haven't mm -hmm. been following mm -hmm. instructions. Yeah. Simple instructions. Mm -hmm. People came mm -hmm. from all over. Amen. Mm -hmm. May Amen. us who are listening to this word be blessed. May we prepare for the abundance. May we prepare also for the famine. May we Amen. prepare so that our bands will be full and people will come and even buy from us that will even take mm -hmm. advantage of the situation and even so. There's nothing wrong with taking advantage of the situation and saving. Amen. There's nothing. It's because mm -hmm. of the wisdom. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So Joseph made money from the sales. Mm. So do you now understand why we have loan sharks? Mm. Ashonisa, you mm. know, Bakalova. People who will mm. give you loans at very yeah. high interest rates. Yeah. And when you are going to these mm. guys, Kuli Bakalova, the Mashonisas, mm. you are not even reading terms and conditions. You are so mm. desperate. It's time of fun. Fun. You just sign, signing your life. Yeah. It's a life sentence because mm. you are so desperate. You see, mm. so mm. it's because these people, the loan sharks, they have climbed way against you. Mm -hmm. They have put, they have been putting their five percent aside so that mm. they can come and lend you the money and mm. make a profit <laughs> out of you. <laughs> <laughs> then. So to those that are not putting the five percent aside, they know that come yeah. what may, this yeah. somebody is going to that fool who didn't put five percent aside mm. to come. Mm. They know, uh -huh. they've already got a plan. Are we learning from something today? So uh -huh. they are sure that that person who didn't use Joseph's model of saving will have nothing. After Christmas, they will come, first uh -huh. January. So let's yeah. plan ahead of 2022. Amen. Amen. Now, in order for the people in Egypt to store the food, there was a lot of work to be done. Yeah. There was yeah. a lot of work. They didn't just dump food. Oh, because Joseph said, so in my yard, we're just going to get maize from wherever and we're just going to throw there. We're going to drain the pool and throw mm. the maize. It wasn't like that. It was well planned. It mm. means it was an expensive mm. venture, right? It yeah. means people had to work hard to build up barns where they were going to mm. put up their, their dry mm. food. It means some people were put in charge to, to harvest and to, to preserve, okay, whatever mm. it was. It means they had to get airtight containers to put their their food there because you know when you just leave food in a certain place mm -hmm. you know what do you say it's going to mm -hmm. how do you say it in english even okay what i'm trying to say no. here is that you can't move from one state you know you've got fresh food and you want to, you need to preserve it in a way that the mm -hmm. food is not um you know it doesn't go rotten during the time mm -hmm. of preservation yeah. basically that's what i'm saying so mm -hmm. you need to get airtight containers so that the air doesn't go in there and oxidize the food. Otherwise, the food is going to, it's not going to last another year or even mm -hmm. a month. So mm -hmm. the, the preservation procedure needed to be followed. What about the bags mm -hmm. or the sacks? It means mm -hmm. somebody had to go and get the sacks. There was mm -hmm. a demand for sacks. They had to sew them together to make bags to put in the grain. They didn't mm -hmm. just throw the grain all over the place. So that is why I'm saying there was so much work. You know, brethren, there is nothing easy in life. Mm, yeah. And this is what we children of God need to learn. You can't mm. just run to the altar and say, amen, pastor, I receive. And then the pastor is <laughs> saying, receive your blessing for 2022. Amen, I receive. It doesn't work like that. There is hard work that is involved. Yes, the mm. blessing is spoken upon, upon mm. you, but there's an instruction that comes with the blessing. Mm. Amen. Mm. amen. So let's stop this issue of running after people, you know, just speaking. No. Hey, 2025, I receive. I, you are just receiving. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, 
There's nothing happening in your life. Mm -hmm. Hard work is required of us. Amen. So Amen. just because the Lord is with us like he was with Joseph doesn't mm -hmm. mean we should just sit back. We have to work. Amen. Amen. Joseph worked very hard. We are told that he traveled throughout Egypt. That's mm -hmm. a lot of work. They didn't mm -hmm. even have a Porsche. They didn't even have mm -hmm. a BMW. He mm -hmm. didn't fly. But mm -hmm. a donkey. I don't even know whether it was a horse, whatever he used, but he went around the land. So it means he was tired, he was exhausted. Mm. We are children in the process. It was mm. so much work. So the preparation was so tiresome for him. The preparation is not going to be easy for you and me, but mm. we have to do it. We can do it. Yeah. Yeah. They did it to prepare for seven years. We can do it to mm. prepare for a year. Basically, Amen. this is what I am saying. Amen. Mm. Amen. All Joseph did was to do his part to go mm. around and to teach people how to preserve and to yeah. make instructions. Mm. And then he let God do the other part. Amen. 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 So I want to encourage us today, do your part mm. and allow God to do his part. Amen. 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 In your quiet time, I also like to encourage you, you know, mm. to speak to the Holy Spirit, ask him for guidance, ask him for wisdom mm. in this season. Mm. What am mm. I supposed to do? How should mm. I prepare for 2022? Mm. How should Amen. I prepare for 2023? Amen. So Amen. let us listen for the instruction and let us follow. Don't follow the instruction that mm. he's giving me because mm. I've got my own household. Each yeah. household. Yeah. Remember, yeah. Egypt had its own way of following things. Mm. What about the other mm. towns? What about you? So mm. we're not going to follow mm. blindly because somebody uh -uh. said, 2022 is a year of this. And then we start going mm. through that. No, no, no. Mm. We need to take time and sit in the closet. Holy Spirit, mm. what do I need to do to prepare mm. for 2022? Mm. Show me. It's never too late. We can Amen. ask him today. Amen. You know, it's not too late. We can ask him today and find mm. out what plan he has for us. What is coming mm. ahead? Mm. How do I need mm. to do this and this and that? Mm. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Let's follow the instructions that will be given. Let us thank God for today's message, for today's amen. revelation. Amen. 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 Father, we thank amen. you for speaking.